This is absolutely an important topic. It's time to talk about the male pelvic exam, what to expect, what is appropriate versus inappropriate touching. Let's cover some anatomy. We're gonna zoom in a little closer. So most of the skin and tissue has been removed so that you can see the internal structures of the penis and the testicles. This is the glans penis, otherwise known as the head of the penis. Now these two structures here, this is the corpus cavernosum and the corpus spongiosum. Those two together are the erectile tissue. This is what engorges with blood to achieve an erection. This is the testicle. This is where sperm is produced. The seminal vesicle, this makes some of the semen. The highlighted structure in blue is the vas deferens. This carries fluid from the seminal vesicles. It carries sperm from the testicle all the way to join the prostate. This is also what's cut during a vasectomy right around here. So this anatomy model, now we're turned to the side, so I just wanna reorient you, but what's highlighted here in blue is the bladder. And then right underneath the bladder is the prostate. Let's take a closer look at the prostate. I've removed the prostate capsule so you can see the inside. So all these things here are the lobes of the prostate. And what's highlighted here in blue is where your urine passes from the bladder through the prostate into the urethra and then out of the body. This is why prostate enlargement causes urinary symptoms. So altogether, sperm is produced in the testicles. It's combined with the fluid from the seminal vesicles that go to the prostate. The prostate makes even more fluid. It gets passed through the urethra and out of the body. Now, when we do an examination of the male pelvis, a lot of the physical exam will depend on the symptoms and what you're looking for. But if it's an STD, we're gonna be looking at the head of the penis and the urethra. And if you have a foreskin, if you haven't been circumcised, then we may gently retract the foreskin. There is no reason to rub or grab anything. And generally we use palpation with only the finger pads. When we do a testicular exam, each testicle is examined one at a time, placing the fingertips underneath one and then gently palpating with the other. Sometimes we do need to feel like this so that we can also palpate the seminal vesicles. There is no reason to grab or rub anything. Now, in order to examine the prostate, this is done with a digital rectal exam. I have the anal sphincter and the opening of the anus here highlighted in blue. And so you can see why we examine with the rectal exam, because when you insert one finger, you gently push towards the patient's front and you can actually feel the prostate. There are no in and out movements. There's no rubbing. It's gentle insertion and palpation with the sweeping motion. That's it. So hopefully you've learned some anatomy and now you know what to expect for a male pelvic exam.